speaking of the celebrities, like, have you ever had like, you know, like you think of like the current, you know, like a Brad Pitt or like a Julia Roberts where you're just like, you're an Elvira fan. Like, wait, I'm shocked. You know, like someone we wouldn't really think would be an Elvira fan. Well, the strangest one probably was Michael Jackson. And he really like flipped out. He was like, oh, my God, oh my God. Oh. So freaking out. So that was pretty insane. And it was the night he was at the Grammys winning, I think, 11 Grammys for Thriller. And the major thing he said to me was, I should have had you do the voice in Thriller. And I was like, duh, you should have. I mean, what a game changer that would have been. Biggest single in history. But that didn't happen. But I'm glad it went to Vincent Price, who I love. So. Okay, I have a few questions now. So so you were at the Grammys too, right? Yeah. Like you were, and then Michael Jackson just ran into you and is like, oh my God, I'm a huge fan. Yep, I was dressed as Elvira because I was there with, um, I believe that night I was there with Alice Cooper. And so we went backstage and Michael Jackson was coming one way and I was going the other way. And yeah, he just saw me and I, oh, and I was dying. I could hardly talk. I was like this Michael Jackson. And then when he tells you something like, he says, oh, you should have done the voice in Thriller. Is that like, a, like you said, is that like, a well, now you tell me this could have changed everything or is it like, well, that's flattering. I mean, that's. Oh no, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And uh, instead I tried to stay cool and not scream and fall down on the floor or anything. Um, but it was funny, many years later, the writer, I, I believe of Thriller, I believe his name was Rod, Temperton, Templeton, something like that, um, passed away. And in his, his uh, obituary, it said that he had originally intended Elvira to do the voiceover in Thriller, but then um, Quincy Jones, who was producing for Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones' wife's best friend was Coral Brown, who was the wife of Vincent Price, and she wanted Vincent Price to do it. So if I had to lose out to anybody, it would certainly be to Vincent Price, my hero. But uh, that was disappointing though. <laughs> I was kind of sad to hear that years later. Oh, bummer. And imagine what a difference. I mean, it still would have been a great song, but imagine like with like a female Elvira on there, man. It would have been really awesome, right? 